Hi, and welcome to today's topic lesson for you. Okay, uh, so we're going to be looking again at music. Um, lesson one of this happened last Friday, um, and we're going to actually be sort of building upon that um, for you. So there are uh, so a couple of different levels here that you can actually have a look at. Um, so um, first one here, I'm going to just bring across um, for you. Um, and um, I need to take this bit here away. Sorry, there's lots and lots that I'm trying to do at the moment. Okay, um, so this first one um, is actually using something called Beatmaker. Now, if you are wondering um, where to find this, um, you can see that in your folders is a document um, and on that one there, it has actually um, access or it tells you sort of, you know, so what we're wanting you to look to do today um, with this um, and uh, and go from there. So you can see that you're continuing from last week. So last week I asked you just to have a little look at some rhythms, have a play around with it, experiment with it um, and go from there. This time around what we're looking at um, is if you can do that and then think about maybe some lyrics that you could put over the top of it. Okay, so you might want to sort of rap something, uh, you might want to MC something, you might actually just want to use it as a background, um, as we've done in the past in Palm Class, um, as uh, like, you know, an opportunity to um, experiment a little bit with spoken word sort of poetry, which will quite often have like a beat or a rhythm to it. So um, this here uh, at the top is a link that will take you to the um, this website um, and if not you can see that you've got a little um, section down at the bottom of the page and that tells you what to google basically to take you to this page so if we have a little listen to this i'm not quite sure how loud it will be so we might have to regulate that okay hopefully it's gonna work okay and then what you can do is you can actually play around with this a little bit. So we can see about sort of taking some elements away. So this is the, and you can, I'll just turn it up a little bit so you can hear that. Okay. And then, oh. Okay, and then have a little listen to what difference that's made. Not good to be quite honest with you, is it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this um, for you. We can have a listen. Okay, so that is um, our sort of beat there. Now at the beginning, you will see there is a, like a highlighted um, section, and so that's because there are one, one, two, three, four beats in each bar, and the highlighted section lets you know that that is the first beat, and then there are. Um, so two bars are four, so you can see it repeats every eight. So if I was just to work up to here, then it would just be these ones that would be going around. So, okay, now my BPM is a little bit high, so what I want to do is I want to reduce that a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to take that down to about 110. Let's have a listen to that. So I'm probably going to go a little bit slower. So I'm maybe going to go because it's you're doing like something rap. Then I'm going to go down to eighty. Okay. So yeah. So we go down to about eighty, and then what you might want to do is sort of actually bring in sort of like a double beat um, on every second. Okay, now if I have a listen to this one here, so this is going to be a snare. Build it up for you. So 
this is high hat closed, this is high hat open. And then that's so that's the same as you know close, the same as putting your foot down on it. And you can see that we've started to build up sort of like a bass um, rhythm here. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring this across for you so you can see it. then you might want to have a little stab of some keys in here as well. Okay, and so you can see how you can sort of like actually build it up um, little by little um, for that bit there. And then, so once you've done that, once you've built your rhythm, um, the idea or the concept is gonna be that you're actually gonna look at uh, making some lyrics over the top. Now, um, if I go back to our other screen here quickly for you, um, you can see that, um, so that was that activity there. Um, we're going to do something very similar. Um, now, this video is linked to here, but obviously if you're watching the video, then you've kind of got it anyway. Um, the other thing we're going to be doing um, is that some of you last week used um, Chrome um, Music Lab uh, to make some things. So for you, we're going to look at actually developing and making a rhythm as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch back across um, to this page here and you can see that this is the actual web website so we've got different elements, we've got the shared piano, we've got the song maker which is what we did last week um, and then we've got rhythm. So we're going to click into rhythm here and you can see there are some different um, elements of control on this. Um, first of all, I love the fact that the uh, the monkey kind of looks around the screen every now and again. But, so if we press play on this, um, you can see what some of these are doing. Okay, so you can see that these ones here um, are, so if you click off and on, if we go higher up, and then, okay, so what we've got is we have got the kettle drum. So we've got the uh, sort of bass one, the slightly higher pitched one, and then we've got the triangle at the top, okay? And you can see they're all color coded as well. Okay. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is, um, Okay, so let's have a little listen to this. Okay, there are different options here as well. So these are your monsters. So there you go, so you can see how you can actually build up a rhythm with this one here as well. Um, there we go. Mm, 
doesn't quite work, does it? Okay, and then we can see here, so you've got different rhythms that you can play around with. So those are all of the different rhythms that we've actually got um, that we can play around with um, there. So um, I'm just going to bring back to this other screen here for you. So this is uh, the work that says, so, so you've all been using Google Chrome Lab and um, so you will all be using Google Chrome Lab and Rhythm Maker. Uh, spend some time experimenting with the different rhythms. Can you find one you like? Why not try and do a rap over the top of your rhythm, okay? Um, so you could do a rap, you could do a song, you, however you like. And what I'm gonna really do is I'm gonna encourage you, um, if you can maybe sort of like record it, um, and sort of, uh, you know, consider sort of posting it into your completed work or into your work folder for us, um, so that we've got like a little record of what you've been able to do um, there. Um, if you do this before we do our Zoom call, you might even want to actually sort of show us how you've been doing or what you've been working on on your Zoom call. Okay, fantastic, excellent. Okay, anyway, um, hope you're well. I'm going to leave you just with um, these two doing their little rhythm um, and hopefully you will find that useful. Cool, thank you very much guys and I'll see you later on.